So uh, today is a uh, Monday morning. I'm in the uh, poker room in the Vicksburg uh, Maristar Casino, and uh, today's just kind of a little narrative on why, if you're a poker player and you travel, and you're you can only travel a limited amount of times, Vegas is the stop to go to in the month of June. Wh why I say this is like today, for example, today. Here, and I love the Heartland Poker Tour, Vicksburg has been wonderful to me. No complaints whatsoever. I have two options today. At noon, there is a qualifier event where the VIG's about 28%, one out of every 10 will get a seat to the main event. All right, cool. I'm not really, really excited about this event. It's a small uh, starting chip stack size, etc. At five o'clock, there's the second event. The second event is a small buy-in, uh, just a regular no limit hold'em event. Those that those two things and cash are basically my three options as far as poker is concerned here. There are no other options. And then tomorrow, which is Tuesday, is uh, two qualifying events. No no event no uh, numbered event whatsoever. Selection and options. If if those things are important to you and they should be as a poker player, as a traveling poker player, makes June, if you can only go on one stop per year, you want to go June, Las Vegas. Six weeks, and all the casinos now are competing with one another to get your running fancy tournaments with guaranteed prize pools, all sorts of buying amounts. Tournaments running from nine in the morning until I don't know, 9 o'clock at night, I mean, it's just unlimited options. It's something for everybody. When you go to these smaller stops like at Biloxi, and I love Biloxi too. Uh, Biloxi, I haven't been as successful at Biloxi, but the town has been fantastic. I love going there. I'm hoping this year is going to be my year that I show some results in that city because uh, I've been doing pretty decent in other places. But to emphasize, June. Las Vegas, a poker player's paradise. Competition is, you can go anywhere from just completely weak to extremely strong. Buy-ins, buy-ins are everything from hardly anything to, you know, nosebleed levels. You bust out of a tournament and you're, you're uh, you have options that jump right into something else uh, immediately almost. I mean, because there are so many things going on. Food for thought. Hope to see y'all 2018 in the great city of Las Vegas.